like, listen, okay, we've had a little bit of an accident. Um, we were recording. It recorded for two seconds and it stopped. <laughs> and I, I only noticed... An accident. I think it's just a technical glitch. I only noticed, like, five minutes later, so we've missed all the prep. So all the cuticle prep has been... Not been recorded, so if you want to see that... Everyone will be thinking, he's got scratchy, scratchy yeah. cuticles. Yeah, you'll have to look at another video. I can't believe that's not done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to crack well, on with the next bit. Or every video anyways. So. Yeah, yeah. We've done it, it plenty. It is what it is. Can't yeah. undo it, can we? No, we can't because it's, it's done now. <laughs> <laughs> done. I can't do it now. So, a cuticle prep's been done. Not by magic. But what we're going to do now is, now look at this, we've got bits of gel on here and everything like that. And what you have to think about is the apex will have moved forward slightly. So, we need to think about that as well. I'm going to use the purple bit, which is like this. It's a ceramic bit, so it, it heats up far less than any other bit. With this bit, I am going to actually to use my extract. So with this bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of this messy um, gel glue, gem, gem glue, um, and also address any lifting issues or anything like that. There's no lifting horn. Oh, we're still in reverse because we did kids cup there. So okay. We want to pull down to the end like this so you take away the top coat. That is so important as well. And you see how flat I'm going. I'm going flat, 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 flat. Do not be tempted to do this. That would be like your normal routine of coming over. Don't do it. You've got to keep flat, flat, flat. We're doing an edge fill. So keep everything nice and flat. Turn your client... Turn your clients to make sure that you get the angles that you need. And I'm even going to turn a finger like this now, so I can come right down here and I can keep nice and flat. Blend that in. Then I'm going to come across this top here, flat, 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 and moving slightly towards the edge here. And it'll reduce the thickness here. And what this will allow me to do is to totally rebalance where this actual apex should be. And I can rebalance the sharpness of the Fine. So again, flat, flat, keep everything very flat, support the nail, flat, 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 pulling straight. So you're going from the spine all the way, flat, 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 to the very side wall. Gonna softly blend light strokes with the e file. And then I'm gonna pull flat here again, just to reduce a little bit of that. the spine nice so let's do this on all of the nails right what we're going to do now is use the mandrel bit this is the mandrel bit it comes like this it's absolutely gorgeous it's got a safety lock system which means it grabs on to the 
sanding band like a dream it's got a gorgeous sparkly Swarovski crystal oh the best we're going to put it on a slow speed forward motion if you really hate your client mm. whack that speed up oh <laughs> hang on oh uh, i can hear it revving you can't, you can't even hear it because <laughs> no my electric files are quiet right okay so we're literally just going to etch the natural nail you can skip across onto the acrylic if you want to does it have much effect on the acrylic a little bit but not a lot quite soft it's just fine it's a fine band you know it's only a 240 grit so it's very soft but you know you can the thing is if you try to shape an acrylic nail with a sanding band damn that would heat up so quick mm -hmm. it really would heat up so does so when you do it with a ceramic bit does the ceramic retain the heat in it so that it's not the nail that's got the heat the ceramic bit because you were just saying that that doesn't get hot do you know what i think you're exactly right and i'm going to go with that answer <laughs> I don't know how it does it, but the ceramic bits don't heat up nowhere near as like a carbide bit or a sandy, sandy band heat up really quick. That's why you use them at a low speed. They heat the nail because they, they give off heat, yeah. where yeah. ceramic can actually take loads of heat. Yeah, it can That's why they build heat. spaceships, cord nose cones out of ceramic, the tiles. Really? Yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you been to space? <laughs> <laughs> Have like, you been to NASA? I'd like to go to space. I'd like to go to NASA mm. and do NASA nails. Do NASA nails? At NASA. To, know, NASA. to let the letters in? No. We'd have something like um, <laughs> loads of... Um, SpaceX I was, would I was let going to say NWAs, but it's not that. No, it's, it's definitely um, not NWAs. It's, I know you'd like to sign a lot of them. I would like to sign a lot of NWAs. <laughs> oh, yes. I love NWA. <laughs> One of my favourite hip-hop bands. But no, yeah... Um, what is it? ND? ND is. ND is, that's it. Non disclosures, non -disclosures yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't talk about the, all the, you know, dodgy things that NASA do, apparently, so my dad says. <laughs> <sighs> What's my dad now? Mm -hmm. Dad thinks that, uh, that uh, the world is flat. Yeah. My dad thinks the world's flat. So, we're ready to rock and roll. Give him a dust. So we're going to wipe over with the cleanser. This is the nail alchemy cleanser. Get nice and clean and push back. Nice and clean and push back. Nice and clean and push back. And slap away in the face at the same time. <laughs> right. So it's all nice and clean and push back. <laughs> and then we're going to use the nail prep from the Essentials Collection. The Essentials Collection that nail, nail can we have actually has top coat, base coat, your nail prep and various other items. I'm not sure because I ain't got a clue. Um, then we're going to use Blossom. We're going to use Blossom. That's me trying to do an accent. It's a cup of powder. It has 45 grams in the pot. In the pot. In the pot. And we're going to be using the best nail brush in the world. Ever. We're going to be using the Kirsty Meekin Alicia brush <laughs> that I've managed to get ink all over. Yeah, don't get ink on it. <laughs> don't get ink on it. So, here we go. Nice bead. Don't forget, this is not a normal fill. So we go on with the product. The dog's oh. a bow wow wee. Bow wow wow! So I've just lifted the nail slightly because I don't want it to run down. And what you'll notice is it wants to separate in the middle. Yeah? You've got to keep this tucked. So we took it up and we slide it down slightly just to kind of blend it a little bit. Now 
Now, if you turn the finger like this and you pat, 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 you can start to bring that edge shape back. But it's not just about that edge shape, it's about the apex as well. So I'm stroking <laughs> flat with my brush. Whenever you stroke towards yourself, product will come towards you. When you stroke backwards, it will move away. You see how that did that? That little bit of an apex or a apex there. And when you start to come to this cuticle area, this is where you've got to be a little bit more careful. So we want this to soften. We want the spine to soften. Oh, started. Yeah. So we soften that slightly, but we want to keep this spine. So sweeping up, we'll bring it up. But you've got room for your hand skin on your hand then. <laughs> she said she's got wrinkly, wrinkly skin. Because she was that showing what you were doing? It's on your glove. <laughs> I thought it was on your hand. She was just feeling me hand. She's going through the menopause, anything could happen. I am not going through the menopause. Everything's going to shit. However, when <laughs> I am going through the menopause, I will definitely share that experience with you all. Oh. You ain't oh. missing out on that. You know what just, I just had a thought of there? Oh, Six no. weeks travelling America with you? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> well, we have to just make sure we have some nice downtime <laughs> without Six each other. Weeks. Yeah. When's this? Mm. This year? No. No, next year. Oh, God. Oh, shit, what's Faye going to do? I was just going to, well, am I immediately? Nails before, thought? nails immediately after. And I'll be like, I'm jet lagged, can't do your nails, Char. <laughs> She'll fly out for a film. Oh, she probably would. That would, that would actually be quite a good Can you thing. imagine that? That would be so good, would you? You just too? rock up to one of the oh, seminars for a film. Yeah. Sorry, I'm here, I can't wait any longer. I the fucking place would go wild. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. I'm sorry, I'm here. I've had to fly in. This is ridiculous. You can't keep her for this amount of time. <laughs> I mean, you can't. I'm slightly... <laughs> She's already I'm fucking slightly worried this. about it already. <laughs> yes, no, it's just an idea. That would be bad. Maybe I mean, we talked four. about it for ages. Maybe go for four max. So, shop! <laughs> pat and press, face. pat and press. No, I'm too busy manipulating product. Oh, God. Pat and press, pat and press, and you'll see that this little spine makes the product want to split. That's what you need to control. So we're going to drag, drag, a bit more pressure in this area, and then tuck, flat, tuck, flat, tuck it flat, tuck it flat, drag, drag. Keep that spine. Flat brush, flat brush, make sure you've got a nice pinched brush, like the Alicia brush. Not gonna lie, you're never gonna find a brush as good as this, but you know, you can try. Um, <laughs> just saying. You could use the Izzy Busy brush, because <clears throat> that's also pinched, but you need to have a pinched flat brush to do this. No, you're not allowed to wear. The reason you need a pinched brush is because what it does is it makes more contact with the surface of the product. So you can manipulate it much better and put it exactly where you want it. Don't forget about the apex. Make sure it's, it's there. Right, so I'm going to use a 150 grit file and a 180 grit file. So all our files come in individually wrapped bags so they're nice and clean so i'm going to use a 240 grit file you don't need to use 240 grit it, but it's nice to use something that maybe you have more of yeah so that's what you want to go with so i'm going to take off those sharp edges but a 240 grit file will keep everything smooth because it's soft don't use a buffer that's a silly idea whoever thought of that so, take off those edges so you don't cut your client or yourself. And then you're good to go. Right, so let's take this 180 up the side here. Oh! <laughs> Such 
watching live. It's broken action there, that was one. <laughs> <laughs> so you can only do it once, you can't do it again because it's rich, wrecked, it's ruined. You can do it once. Don't scare me like that. Her little face went flustered there like she's dead. I thought she got me. Oh my god, keep her on her toes. So, this. To be fair, if it wasn't for having to do photos at the end, she would do it. Oh, well, no, she would. She'd obliterate me. She'd skin, she would. She'd skin. Yeah. She'd skin. We didn't it. need the rest of the thing to She would. Come to the bloody knuckle. So we go around the cuticle area, make that nice and neat as well. Yeah. It's important to get your angle right as well. When you're coming around this cuticle, nice high angle. But you're not going to use the same grit, are you, to do you? No, I'm going to use the 150 grit file. So we're going to go flat, 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 flat. I thought you'd use a quarter one, did not What, like 100 grit? Yeah. Oh, hell, hell no. So is it 150, 100, 100, that no in between? It's 130, isn't it? No, 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 no. No, no, no. nothing in between? No, no. Don't need anything in between. What a stupid idea that was. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so flat, make sure you stay flat. It's all about the flatness. Hang on, you think there should be an in between and you think my suggestion was stupid. Your suggestion was oh, stupid. God, a stupid idea that was. Oh, Only you oh, could have thought about that oh, idea. My fault. I mean, like there isn't enough grits. There wouldn't be a, a there wouldn't be a reason for it, that's oh, right, why there okay. isn't one. There just isn't no need for an MC. Yeah, there's not, so, because I'm sure if there was. You'd have one. Everybody would have one, yeah. So, it's about keeping this spine nice and sharp. And when you're filing, you can really see that take shape. So can you see... It looks amazing. ...how... We have no dust here and dust here. So we file, 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 like this. But one side, the dust will collect on the other side, vice versa. But it actually shows you, and gives you a good idea of how sharp it is because you kind of start to see it come really sharp. And then the back part, you just literally soften Face. Here's her own Sorry. voice, and she's absolutely. But it was on silent. So we can buff around this area like this, but then the sides again, nice and flat. Keep everything. Oh, hey, up. Flat. Flat, flat, flat. Flat, flat. Flat, 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 other side, flat, flat, another bit of flat, 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 So, yeah. Nice and round here, and flat. If you start buffing round, like, and you think, oh, I just buffed that bit, right, you will lose that spine. You will be spineless. You'll be a spineless hoe bag. <laughs> <laughs> right, and ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do now is we're going to use, we want to change these. I love these nails. They're like, they are probably my favourite nails that I've done in a long time. I absolutely love them. She's going to change them all though, so. But we're just going to. I'm just going to change them up a little bit, that's all. Just So I thought about putting, um, this is Jalica's glass collection. This one is called Teal Tail Burst. Now looking at the colour, I wouldn't peck it. But on yeah, that nails, it looks on incredible. There. Are you ready? Look at that. So it's like a, a glass, stained glass kind of gel polish. I'm just going to put a thin coat over it. Look at that. It's just so nice, isn't it? So you could do that with, you know, other colours. So if you think you've got a set of nails, they could just be a glittered nail. So a glittered acrylic nail, or even, you know, gel nail, hard gel. And you could change the colour by putting on a glass 
effect gel polish. It just kind of changes it up a little bit. Just makes them a little bit more blue. We still see a little bit of purple coming through. Yeah, That's what I like though. It doesn't it doesn't completely change the colour. Like some mm -hmm. of them you couldn't see any of the other colour through. Yeah. It changed it too much. Whereas this one's just nice. It's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. It's most effective on the paler colour of the glitter. So like this like pale end. Tip. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do this on all of the tips to just change it up a little bit. Because I mean, look at the difference. And it does just do what we don't Side by side. I and just feel then, like it really intensifies the colour. Mm. Pop it in. So I'm just mixing together two different um, gel paints. So we've got a neon green mm. and a blue. And this is so we can get like a teal colour. Right, so I've mixed the colour. Got it on my little dabba 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 doo. Dabba dabba doo. Yeah. Wherever I'm going to put the flowers, I'm going to put the little bit of colour. I want to have a little bit of depth be behind the flower, you see? So just sponging that on, and I'm taking the other one and just softening it a little bit at the edge. You won't see a massive amount of it, but it'll just add a little bit of depth. So, pop me them in the lamp. And then we're going to top coat. And what I'm going to do with this colour that I've mixed is I'm going to save it. I'm going to get my palette. My nails, my, all my, my gloves are just falling to bits. So I'm going to get this, scrape it up with a spatula. Best I can. Why are you doing that? Because I'm going to save it. Oh, don't put it on mine. I don't want to. <sighs> Seconds. What do you mean? It's not been used. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, a good idea. <laughs> She's like, I can't get it out. It's because it's magnetic. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. I feel like an eyeshadow one should be magnetic then, really. You can get them on. So, right, top coat. We're going to top coat with the Lacente. Pop them in the lamp for me. So we've got the Nail Gaga Precision Liquid, and then we're going to use the Extreme White. There's 30 millilitres of powder of this in here. Millilitres of powder? Can you have powder in millilitres? Well, yeah. Powder it's... millilitres? Yeah. I thought it'd be grams. I thought it'd be grams. Normally, but you can, you can have millilitres of everything. That's the quantity, anyway. Yeah. So I'm going to use the Alicia brush. So, right, so using the white, this is extreme white. God, that's a very bright white. It is, isn't it's it? good French white. It is a good I mean, it was French. Not you. <laughs> Not me. So I'm going to start from the outside and work in.
So I'm patting and pressing and make sure you make sh making sure the point of the brush is going towards the centre of where the flower will be. So you want to use it quite dry, don't be tempted to like just whack down any old bead. Make sure you drain out your liquid so you can control it as it will start to run. We don't want it running anywhere. And use the tip of the brush to just create details. Next bead. When you're doing 3D, you have to think about where that bead is going to spread. So if you start too far up onto the previous petal or leaf, then when you start to press, it's going to overtake it. So you need to make sure you put it lower than you actually want it. So when you first place it down, guide it where you want it. Then you can start to neaten it a little bit. And then you can start to press into it. What type of flowers do you think they are? What you're doing? Got like a trumpety bear in the middle, haven't they? <laughs> trumpety. Trumpety. Got a trumpety bear. But I don't really know what they are. Those flowers have got like a trumpety bear. Trumpet flowers. 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 Don't be daft, it's not a daffodil. So I'm just using the very tip to open out that bead. And very gently knitting that up. You want to use the tip to fold the acrylic as it starts to set. If you do it too late, it won't fold. If you do it too early, it won't fold. So you've got to find that sweet spot. Mark it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Can you see why you've got the dark in the background now? Yeah, it's good though, don't I you? I think it's it really looks good. lovely. It needs, it, with it being on like a cover, I don't know, did you call it a cover paint? Mm -hmm. I think it just needs that bit of depth, don't it, behind it? Yeah. I feel like this is a set that needs some lines and dots. Doesn't need any swirls and dots. It lines. No. Can't be, you don't want too many dots. No you dots. A good dot. I just gave me a couple of little crystals on it. Yeah. I can remember every set. Lines and dots, lines and dots, lines yeah. and dots. Dots, Kirst, we need dots. I did that, I did that for years, didn't I? Mm -hmm. You want some dots? It, Yes. Does it go dark at night? Does it get wear a hat? Bed shit in the woods? Put that link? So we've got the pretty little flowers. Flowers. Not too massive, just mm. like nice, nice, 3D, bit of movement, bit of folding. Just a little smidge of one on there. Right, we're gonna put some jammy gem gems on. Squeeze it out. So this is the gem glue that I love to use. And it's um, mm. it's like a gel. It's and it and it 
Oh, I'm trying to be quick for Adam so he can get I home. I'm only joking. I've got to de-rig all this anyway. So, <laughs> e <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Where is my pommy picker rub Let's get me. The old gems on. The juicy lucy. The juicy lucy. Let's put a bit of... A little bit of sparkle. Sparkle, yeah. I'm a bit of a sparkle, yeah. Oh, they do look so nice. Pop that one in. I've got some here. Put me that in. So, let's have a little look. They are, I know they're similar, but they are different than the other, you know, than they were before, because they're a different colour now. But I love them, I absolutely love them. And again, I'm jealous of your nails. Snap them off and put them on mine. You can't wear them this long. I time, tried, I tried, I can't do well, it. You didn't even try this long. No, they were. They were. They were full length. Give them a good show. Show them off. Go on, show them off. Show them off, say. Do your thing. <laughs> Just leave them Do in the same thing, place. Thing, like, like. Leave them put your fingers place. together. Thank there. You, Thank you. Oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. I'm looking at the screen here. Just looking at the how beautiful they are, even though I can look at them like for real here. Yeah. And they look, they look better in real life. real life. They look even more spectacular in real life. So there you are guys, Faye's done and dusted again. Won't see her for another four weeks. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to know where we got the products from, it'll all be listed below. So don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da! Ridiculous, Eddie. It's so bloody hot. It's not even hot. Mm. No, it isn't. Why is your face so red then? It's a bit of a sunburn.